So while I think functional programming offers tons of great things, and that's why you'll see a lot of like function purity and other, uh, other aspects of functional programming within my code, like pretty much everything else, I don't view any single paradigm as a, singer, as a silver bullet. We really got to talk about recursion versus iteration and why I think one is superior to another. So I have some boilerplate here just so that I'm not writing a, the timer stuff, but we're going to define a function that does a countdown using recursion and another function that does a countdown using iteration. And apparently completely forget how to type. Typical me. So what this will need to do is, of course, take a value. And we'll just use an integer. Or, sorry, I, I said functions just because it's a functional programming thing. Adam makes an important distinction, and these should actually be procedures because there's nothing we need to return. It's just going to call itself continuously. So then, with any recursive function, we need an exit condition and to check for that. Now we're just going to count down to zero, so if value equals zero, then return. I need a semicolon. And then, quite literally, just call countdown again with the value minus one. And that is for iteration. We can define the function again, or procedure again. So we need to do one thing slightly different here. Or are we just going to assign this to a variable? Uh, let's do a... Well, v is greater than zero. Loop. Okay, now these should do the same thing, and they're being called the same way, and we're going to pass we're passing the same exact value to each of these. To make this longer, especially since integer operations are very fast, we're going with the the total range of uh, natural and natural numbers. So this is going to be counting down quite a bit. Now, let's make sure this builds and that I didn't make any typos. Uh, actually, I'm going to optimize this. So a few runs of this, you can tell that recursion takes quite a bit longer than iteration. Um, we'll optimize this slightly further just to see if this makes any difference. I really don't recommend building at optimization level 3 for anything GCC after just years of, of doing it it can change code a little too drastically but you can see recursion still takes quite a bit longer there are some times where it, it comes pretty close I'm not entirely sure why this deviation would be occurring at all uh, Maybe somebody intimately familiar with the runtime can explain that to me. But I regularly see cases of this. Um, I've done similar stuff in functional programming languages and even, uh, well, I've, I've done stuff in JavaScript recently and um, it was ECMAScript 6, so it did have the uh, 
the recursion limit eliminated and the uh, what, what did they call it tail end recursion optimization in place and yet still I was seeing iteration outperform recursion now that's not to say that recursion is useless. There are instances in which recursion is capable of uh, accomplishing things iteration isn't, uh, such as converting a, say a, a dictionary into a tree. Uh, one possible way to do that is through recursion and it is remarkably difficult uh, depending on the language, maybe even impossible to implement that through iteration. But if you're just going through something like we did countdown or uh, going through a list or similar things, uh, iteration is overwhelmingly the better option. So I should explain the performance uh, reasons, why, why there is a discrepancy between these two. Um, without getting into the assembly and you can easily write this for yourself and look at the assembly if you, through whatever disassembler you, you, you like if you want to go that route. Um, it has to do with what's going on internally to accomplish this. In the case of iteration, it's very simple. We can actually replace this whole thing with... Uh, we do a label... We'll just call it start. And then go to start. And then if, uh, what was the condition? If V equal, or yeah, V equals zero, then return. This is internally, or this is, this is, um, functionally identical. This will accomplish the exact same thing and will almost compile down to the exact same thing. The, uh, the exact logic comparison is slightly different. I had a greater than before, but it's just an equal now. Um, actually, no, it was just while... How does that work exactly at that? Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Uh, otherwise, these are doing the same thing. Every time after we do the assigning v equal to uh, v minus 1, they're just decrementing it, there's a jump back to this label. This is all the loop does. is It's just a continuous jump up to here until uh, this statement is true. So that's all that's happening, is a jump operation in code. With the recursion because there's a function call, it's jumping. All function calls involve a jump, but there's also some setup for the function. If the function, it, I'm using function as a synonym for procedure here, uh, any subroutine. If the function has a small enough amount of parameters and those parameters are capable of fitting in registers, then what will happen is instead of a call stack, the uh, the parameters are put into certain registers. If it's complicated enough, well, you have to build up a whole call stack of all the different uh, of all the different parameters. But in this case, it just also puts the value into a register, and then. Uh, decrements it, puts it into the register, decrements it, puts it into the register, and so on. Essentially, it's the additional setting up of the uh, function environment that causes recursion to be slightly slower. Uh, 